Hi friends, it's Marika Lake here and welcome back to my channel. I live on the west coast of Australia with my hubby Greg and we have five kiddos whom we homeschooling and we've been homeschooling for five years now. We have William who is in grade nine, Emily is in grade five, Cruz is in grade three and little Jackson is in grade one and then of course we have our new sweet baby Jay and he is just three months old. In today's video I have got a homeschooling uh, curriculum flip through video for for you today and I'm actually going to show you the part four to the nature discovery guide. Now here on my channel I have been showing you inside this four part um, Australian nature discovery uh, nature study guide which is from nature discovery and this is the uh, fourth part of the four parts and um, that is this nature discovery guide this is put out by a sweet friend of mine and um, her name is Anna and she lives in the city where I live here in Western Australia and she is a homeschooling mama herself to two children and she was actually homeschooled herself so she really knows what she's talking about she loves the great outdoors and she loves nature and she's put together this nature discovery guide of Australian flora and fauna and it's absolutely awesome. I have actually done flip throughs of part one through three here on my channel already and I'll pop a link in the description box down below if you would like to have a look at uh, the first three parts and this is the final installment of th those four parts uh, for nature discovery and today I'm going to actually open this up and give you a look inside um, this uh, nature study guide so you can have a look at it for yourself. I encourage you to pop on over to the website which I will link in the comments box down below and you can check out the nature discovery guide for yourself over there. You can even download a free lesson if you wanted to try a lesson before you buy. Um, so you can do that on the website and check out um, and follow along Anna over on Instagram. She has a beautiful uh, uh, Instagram page and so I encourage you to follow along over there and you can have a look at the adventures that she's up to with her children out in nature and another exciting thing that is coming out um, from nature discovery is actually a Christmas um, an Christmas Advent Discovery, um, which has been released. And I um, have my hands on a copy of that and I will do a flip through on that as well. So check that um, on my channel um, probably next week and I'll get that out for you as well. But enough of my talking, let's turn this camera around and have a look at part four of this nature discovery guide. So I have printed off the part four of the nature discovery guide to show you and I have just popped it inside this uh, A4 binder and I've actually got parts one through four uh, located in here um, but I've just printed it off so that I can give you a flip through. So let's jump in and have a look. So part four is Octo uh, covers October, November and December and the uh, nature top topics, the flora and fauna topics that are covered in these three months will be looking at strawberries, poppy flowers and eucalyptus and the animals are jellyfish, ants and the wallaby. So just here on this page, um, it's just the welcome to nature discovery. And here is just a, su a suggested cycle for a month using the nature discover discovery guide. And so this is super helpful. So let, let me just um, zoom in and, and have a little bit of a closer look for you. Okay. All right. So... As it says, it is just suggested, but this is a suggestion of what you can and um, how you can use this guide. So on week one, uh, you would conduct a nature walk and uh, you can use an activity from the nature guide that's provided with this. You can do some journaling what you saw either in the field or um, afterwards when you get home. And an option is you can use one of the nature journaling prompt pages that are included in this guide. Week two, you could look at um, the themed flora or fauna lessons um, that has been provided. Week three, you could go on another nature walk with a magnifying glass or binoculars. Complete the phonology wheel segment for the month. Again, that's included in the nature guide. Week four, you can do another of the uh, flora or fauna lessons. 
So when you look at, say, strawberries, um, there's different activities within that that you can do all of them or you can choose to do some of them. Week five, um, when um, a fifth week occurs in a month, you could go again on another uh, nature walk and do an activity from the guide from here and journaling again when you get home or out in the field. Uh, you can uh, complete one of the like journaling sheets that she's provided for you, like the... Um, fat files for a plant or an animal of your choice and maybe plan a visit to a museum a botanical garden or wildlife sanctuary um, that is near you or in your area so that is a suggestion on how to um, conduct the month and you would spend a month studying um one flora and one fauna. So as I said, it's October, November and December. So in October, you're going to look at strawberries and jellyfish. In November, do poppies and ants. And in December, do eucalyptus and wallaby. So over the page is just a basic supply list of what you will need to use the nature guide. And it's usually things that you will just have um, in your homeschool collection of things anyway. So it says here, a nature journal with blank pages or a notebook, lead pencils, colored pencils, oil pastels, scissors, glue sticks, watercolor paints, and all the things you need for that. Some rubbing alcohol, some air dry clay, and some magnifying glasses. Now, each of the nature studies are broken up um, in two different areas, and she's just listed them here. You get a display picture for each uh, flora and fauna. You will get facts about it, links to videos um, and book recommendations. Then she provides you with some hands-on nature study activities in the form of art and even a snack and just provides you with some extra nature walk um, additional resources. Now, this, uh, these few pages here are the same um, pages that you would have seen in part one, two, and three. So this is the nature walk activity guide. And basically, she just gives you some ideas on what you can do when you're out on your nature walk. These are some of the activities that you could do either while you're out and about on your nature walk or once you get home. And then she's given you some sheets that you can copy off and use as well. So this is a nature discovery fat file. Um, so while you're out there, you could pop this sheet onto a clipboard and take a pencil um, and you can fill this out while you're in the field or when you come home if you want just has the name of the thing that you've discovered its habitat its classification and some interesting facts and you could even draw a picture here if you wanted to and so there's some just some different kinds of pages like that um, that you can complete out in the field or as um, she said when you get home and then this is the phonology wheel. A phonology wheel, um, if you can see here, is a, a circular visual calendar that shows the changes in nature through the year. And so this is something that you fill out month by month. And she just gives you an explanation here and an example. And then she has included the wheel that you can print off as many copies as you want and use this. So now we jump into the different flora and fauna that is for uh, part four. So uh, the first one we're looking at is ants and you get a um, like a picture um, at the beginning. And this is designed that you would actually print this picture off and you can display this in your home, in your homeschool space, wherever you like for the month that you're going to be studying ants. So there's always a beautiful picture. And then it jumps in to the information. So there's facts included. Obviously, this is about ants. Um, she has designed this that you don't actually have to print this off to use it. You can just print the pages that you need. So you might just print off, um, you know, some of those activity sheets. You might print off this to put in your homeschool space. But this you can actually read from your computer. And as you can see, she's included links here. So you would just click on the link and that would take you to that information. Information. Um, so you don't have to print it all out to use it, but I have just printed it to show you. So she's given you some links here to videos uh, for more information um, about ants and some also some book uh, recommendations. Um, remember, you can always, you don't have to buy um, books, just uh, check your local library. 
And then um, she's given you some hands-on nature study activities to do about ants and included um, any sheets that you need to go with it and photographs as well. And so we've just got an ant picnic experiment. Guess the smell, how do ants walk? Uh, this one here is from the, uh, from the previous one I just said, Fing making fingerprint ants, that's really cute. Um, some more art activities and even a snack idea as well. So that's all for, um, oh, and here, sorry, is the um, ant picnic experiment sheet that you need to go with that first activity. And so that's um, all of the things for ants. And then it's into the next topic, uh, which is eucalyptus. And again, she's given you a picture that you can print off and pop in your homeschool space or around your home. And then again, facts, video links, picture book and book uh, recommendations and then uh, different um, activities and she's just popped some sample pictures of there um, um, as well for you to have a look at i love the craft ideas that she comes up with they're so simple that but they're so beautiful and the snack ideas are just super cute look at this she's made a tree um, so that's always fun to do um, and then again, a, a sheet for the um, experiment and then into jellyfish. Okay, so what I will just do is give you a quick flip through um, of the rest of these activities so that you can have a little look. for watching my video today i hope you enjoyed looking inside that nature discovery guide please go over to anna's instagram page and say hello and follow along over there check out her website you can see the cost um, and everything over there and check out um, the other things that she has available on her website as well again thanks for following along with my channel if you haven't already subscribed i love it if you would join our family here on youtube and make sure you uh, give a comment um, as well if you have any questions and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!